Well, legend has it that a sonic boom is now possible in Trailmakers, and uh, in real life, that's at about 1,200 kilometers an hour. So we're going to see if that applies to Trailmakers as well. And that's going to be the goal for this episode. We literally go so fast that we leave the back of our vehicle behind and it has to catch up with us. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we are doing the Sonic Boom Challenge, which means we have to reach, I think, I think it means we have to reach roughly 1,200 kilometers an hour. And to put it in perspective here, we're going to be using everyone's favorite jet in the game, and this brings us to roughly about 250, 250 kilometers an hour max. I think these are kilometers an hour down there. And so we need to go roughly six times faster than we're going right now. Which to me just means a lot more jets. But there's one thing that I want to try to get done first before we do that. And that is based off of some of your suggestions from last episode, which was the Rings of Fire episode. Some of you are saying that there is actually a challenge with the Rings of Fire. And that is that I have to actually fly through all of them without crashing in between. And some of you are suggesting to use this exact vehicle instead of my derpy little winged vehicle that looks like a bird that doesn't know how to fly. Uh, so that's what we're going to do at the beginning of this episode is actually get some, get used to flying again and uh, try to actually get through all of the rings without crashing. And this vehicle, I think, is the one to do it, just as some of you requested in the comments. So let's, um, I can't turn, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to do that and then I'll just respawn back here. All right, so we're going to try to go in order here of closest from the spawn position to farthest from the spawn position. So this one shouldn't be too hard. We'll just go right through there. All right, so that's one ring down. And honestly, I, I don't know how many rings there actually are. So that might make this a little bit difficult, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them all. So we should be able to pull this off. There's two. All right, now we can go up to this one. There's three. I don't know why I'm counting them since I don't know what I'm counting up to anyways. All right, and there's four. Now we can just go up to this little island up here. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. A turn. There we go. Oh, 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 we went around it. I don't think that counted. All right, let's try this again. Did I get that one up there? I'm pretty sure I got that one up there. All right, there we go. Nice and straight. There's what, five? I don't even know. I think that's five. And six. Oh, I got credit for that one. Is there something over here? Is there, is there more? I don't see any more. Is there something up higher? Uh, oh, there we go, here we go. I thought there was something up higher. Okay, all right. And this sh maybe might be the last one, I don't know. And there, oh, we did it! We actually did it, first try. All right, we got boombox number two, apparently. All right, so that was quick. That means that we now get to work on the Sonic Boom Challenge. So that was nice. Uh, let's see if we can actually get back to the start over here and fly an epic stunt pathway through this little cavern. Just like that. And through the ring of fire. Oh, this jet is so much better than mine. That You can't really beat this jet. You just can't beat this jet. Uh, I really don't think there's any way to beat this at all. Okay, so now we just need to we need to build something that flies fast. So in order to do that, I think we just got to strap a bunch of jets to it. So let's just go ahead and start with this one. Where I have this jet here, I'm just going to go, uh, we're just going to hit this nice duplicate button, like, a bunch of times like that. <laughs> I don't even know. How many did I add? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see how this does. So we're at 250 is what we kind of maxed out at. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, that makes a big difference. All right, you know, let's try this again. We're gonna go a little bit more gentle so we can all pull up. There we go. All right, how fast are we going? Only 320. This feels so much faster. This is actually gonna be kind of hard. This feels way faster, but it's only, it's like not really that much faster. All right, um, we need some more thrusters apparently. So let's see what we're gonna be doing here. I'm actually just gonna. Oh, is there a way I can do that? I don't think I can attach these front to back. So let's for now just add like a couple more. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And now let's see what difference this makes. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, bo oh, it's hard to go straight. All right. 
Dude, we noticed it at 325, 330. Oh, it's not a huge amount of difference. You know what? I think we're going to have to create... All right. We're going to have to create something completely different. I think there's more than just adding thrusters that is uh, being factored into this. We need, we need a different level of aerodynamics. I think we have to make this thing longer. So it's more stable as like a kind of like an arrow cutting through the air. We're gonna have that's what we're gonna have to make. We're gonna have to make a sonic boom arrow. And that's a great way to start it. All right, by the way, pro tip, I've discovered something. Um, many of you who play this game probably might know it already, but we all know that we can Iron Man ourselves away uh, around like this, right? And it looks like this is like the max height that you can do it. But I noticed if you just keep spamming the space bar, you just keep going up. Like you just, even though you're no longer like touching the ground here, every time you press the space bar, you go up a little bit more so you can essentially fly. It's like a little bit of a, little bit of a life hack. So if you need to just keep going up for whatever reason, just keep pressing the space bar and keep pressing the space bar and you just keep going up. So look at that, I'm spamming it right now. Totally spamming it. All right, I should probably stop before this gets out of hand. All right, I'm going back down. Whee! Actually, it'd just be quicker to do delete. There we go. <laughs> All right, it is time to actually build this vehicle. Now, we're probably going to want this thing to be pretty stable. So I'm actually going to give it a lot of uh, stabilizers, which means these, the simple tail fins, we're going to use as uh, primary stabilizers, pretty much. And we're going to want to keep this thing as light as possible. So rather than using the blocks, we're going to be using the grids instead, because the grids are lighter. Whoops. The grids are lighter than the blocks. And you know what? I'm actually going to use small grids because this gives us more attachment points for our jets. And we're going to need a lot of jets for this thing. All right, here's what I'm looking at so far. Kind of like a, just a needle with some stabilizers on the middle, front, and back. So now I'm just going to experiment with this. We're going to take some of our dragon engines and... Oh, not engines. Sorry. Dragon, dragon jet engines, rather. And I'm just going to put a bunch of them like this. And not only there, but I'm also going to attach them to the side in between the tail fins. All right, so now we have a bunch of them and this thing is really light. Now, the only question is, uh, oh, we need a, we need some tail fin as some actual vertical stabilizers as well. You know, I just want to see what happens with this so far. Let's just go ahead and do this and, um, ho! Oh! That was awesome. All right, we have no way to pull up right now. And I'm not sure if we're really going to get that unless we put, we could do it. We could just put these on some rotating, uh, some rotators. Here we go. We got a rotating servo right here. All right, so let's see if this should help us lift up, right? If we just do a little bit of this. All right, here we go. That didn't quite work the way I thought I was going to. Let's try that again. I'll go straight first and then up. Oh, okay. And oh, what is going on? That is so sensitive. Okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. How fast are we going? 500. 500. We're almost halfway there. Oh, that's where the horizontal stabilizer will probably come into handy. Okay, we're going to need to add some more to this. This is so funny. This is epic, though. Look at this thing. It's like a needle of pure power. Oh, boy. I love this. All right, let's go ahead and head back. All right. Uh, so I think we just got to make it... Uh, we just got to add some more thrust. So we're going to double up on these. There we are, just like that. And now I'm going to take a tail fin and then just attach it right to the end of the grid block. So that should prevent us from um, spinning out too much, I hope. All right, let's see how this works. All right, go up. Oh. Okay, we're good. We are so good. All right, look at this. We're good. We are still... We are still at like 500 and I can't stay straight for some reason. Every little adjustment is super, super fine-tuned, or like super, super sensitive, rather. Still at 500, and I've added a lot more thrust. So what is the deal with that? Huh. You know what? Oh, aerodynamics. I, why didn't I think of that? I, told, I mentioned it earlier, and I totally forgot to follow through on it. We need some aerodynamics going on here. What was I thinking? All right, so I'm hoping that this makes a difference. I put a bunch of aerodynamic stuff on the front that is hopefully directing the air over the thrusters so that it doesn't, like, just come in contact with the thrusters and over some of the other stuff as well. Uh, I don't know. How, so we were at around, like, 500 last time, right? So let's see if this makes a difference once we get up into the air. All right, and forward. 580. 
five. It made a little bit of a difference, I think. I don't remember us getting to the higher end of 500 before. Hmm. Okay, but it is definitely super sensitive. Look at this thing. Woo! Okay. Um, you know, I could probably... I, I wonder if I can adjust the sensitivity of the turning, the servo, the rotating servo. Here we go. Speed. Let's change the speed down to like 0.2. I wish you could adjust the range on these as well. 0.2. So that should at least affect the, uh, whoa. Maybe I was wrong. All right, actually it's a little bit helpful. All right, we, I saw us get up to 599 there just then. Oh, you know what? What if we use gravity? Let's go up. And then we're gonna turn straight down to the ground and use gravity to help us pick up some speed. All right, maybe this will help. All right, turn down. Here we go. Gravity, 600. We broke 600. We're halfway there. Only halfway there. That is kind of crazy. All right, you know what? We just need to add more. Maybe more length. More length and more thrust. All right, into the ocean we go. Ooh. Ooh, right into the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna move it right back there, and I'm going to take this part of the back section and just duplicate it in this direction. Oh man, oh man, look at that. That is dangerous. This is, da this is not a good idea. This is really, really not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you guys ready for this? I don't even know if this is, makes any sense. Oh, can we go up? Can we go? Uh oh. Um, I don't know if we can lift up with this. Wait, did my controls get changed? Oh, my controls got reset. That's why I didn't actually have any lift up power. All right, now my tail fins actually work this time. Let's see if this works. All right, up, up, uh oh. Oh. All right, we lost half our vehicle there. All right, go back. Go back. There we go. All right, come on. Lift up. Yes. No, 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 no. Forward, forward. Get that way. Oh, boy. All right. This is really sensitive as well. All right. Let's just try to stay straight. Come on. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, 800. What? This does not feel like 900. I feel like everything's in slow motion all of a sudden. We got up to 900, though. Okay. This is not be. I think we're starting to break the physics. This is not behaving like I would expect it to behave. What is happening? 900. All right, I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do about the fact, I, I don't even know what to expect the Sonic Boom to look like in this game. All right, let's head back. Um, I think we just gotta add some more thrust to it. We'll see how that works. So kind of a similar strategy here. I'm just gonna move this section back. I'm just gonna take a section of this and uh, duplicate it, I think twice. Oh no, there's so many thrusters. I, I don't even know how many to be honest. All right, I think we've reached a problem where we've broken something. Something is broken here. Oh, there we go. This is not connected for some reason and that is breaking everything. All right, I'm just gonna have to put like one block in there. There we go. So now, oh, uh, there we go. That solved all of our pro- Oh, wait, nope. Is there another connection missing? There's another connection missing. These little disconnects somehow got copied. I don't know why, but it actually broke the entire creation when we did that. So that means I got to put this back in here. There we go. Now, the way I tell that is if I get the settings icon, that means that it's actually attached to the seat. If I do not get the settings icon when I click on it, that means it is not attached to the seat, which means there's no controls to reset. And these got reset again for being detached from the seat. All right. I don't know how many thrusters this thing is, and I'm stuck underneath it anyway. I have no idea how many thrusters this thing is, but it is a lot. And I hope that we could take off. Oh, we just broke a lot of things. Oh. Okay. Uh, we might have some issues taking off here. We might actually have- uh oh, am I stuck? Did I freeze the- Oh, look at it build in! <laughs> this thing is so massive with all those thrusts that the game doesn't know how to build it in. Oh, I can't- Oh, we just- We keep leaving it behind. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It takes me like 20 seconds just to respawn. Alright, I'm just gonna hold it down and see what happens. Ah! 8, 9, 1,000! 
We are breaking this game for real right now. We hit a thousand though. All right, I mean, this could be it. This really, I feel like this really could be it, but I can't get it off the ground is the problem. Oh, almost. Ooh, oh, oh, everything's exploding. All right, uh, maybe I should just add some wheels to this thing and drive it to a location. I'm gonna do that. Let's add some wheels. Let's drive this thing somewhere that it can actually do something. All right, I don't even know if these wheels are gonna work to be quite honest. I just added the, oh, this is not working. This is not working well at all. Oh, one of the reasons why it's not working is because of the tail fins. My gas makes the tail fins go down, which does not, is not very good for this. So, you know, what? I'm just going to change the engine. Uh, the engine is not going to be WNS. I'm just going to change it to, um, Y and H because, uh, I just need something different. <laughs> All right, here we go. Y. Come on. There we go. Look, we're working. We're not even going to be able to get off this platform, though. We can't. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. I can't believe we're still alive. Oh, how is this even, how is this even intact? This just does not make any sense. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, do we, do we leave our tail behind again? What happened? What happened? I have no idea what I just saw. Like, it looked like we separated from our tail, but the tail was still having thrust applied as if it was still connected. I am so confused right now. All right, let's see. Uh oh. That, uh, well, that was a mistake. It's a little bit forward. Okay, good. All right, now I'm just gonna, we're gonna go, no, we're gonna go even more this way. Oh, what if, what if we use the, ra no, we can't use the ramp. There's no way this ramp is gonna work in our favor. What if we do it anyway? We're doing it anyway. How fast are we going? Are we intact? What is happening to the tail? It looks like you're experiencing some FPS issues. Yes, we are. Look at the tail. Look, right, we're at 11, or we're at 10, uh, 1,000. <laughs> we're at 10 hundred. <laughs> but what is happening? The tail is still following us, but it is not even close to attaching, to, like, staying attached. We're just experiencing some serious frame rate issues. Uh, yeah, I don't think... I don't think it's it's the resolution that's the issue here. All right, so I think we've officially lost our tail. How are we supposed to get 1,200 kilometers an hour? In all honesty, like, you know what? Maybe, maybe we got to not use these engines. These aren't the most powerful engines. They're just the most consistent ones. So you know what? We're going to save this vehicle as a, just for, just for our reference. But we're going to, we're going to try something a little bit different here. But in order to do this, we are going to need a much better taking off point than this area. Because this area just does not work for us. So we need to find an area where we can spawn and then just instantly take off of like a platform. You know what I mean? All right, so let's check out this one. Let's see which way am I going to face when I spawn right here. All right, backspace. Oh. That seems like a smooth takeoff, backspace. Does it face me this way? I think this is it. I think this is our spot. This is our takeoff spot. Look at that. That's perfect. Okay. You know what? I'm actually tempted to now. I'm going to spawn in the thing that we just made, the abomination, and uh, see it, how this new starting place affects that. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Blast off. Oh, it's so... Look at the... What happened? It's like we spaghettify ourselves. It reminds me of like what happens if you go over the event horizon of a black hole. It's just the front of you just just takes off farther than the back of you. I don't even I don't even look at the speed, but I think this thing is around a thousand, which is really really close to the sonic boom, but not quite there yet. And I'm actually worried that this thing lags the game too much that even if we got the sonic boom, it might not work because the game is like it doesn't even know what's going on right now. So we're gonna try a different type of jet engine just to see what happens. 
we're gonna it's only gonna give us like three seconds of boost but maybe we can get from zero to 1200 in three seconds who knows all right so just then we were using the dragon jet engine which gives us power of 300 now we have two other jet engines one is the mini thruster which only gives us the power of 50 but one is the raw jet engine which gives us a power of 750 the only downside it is it is a lot heavier 750 power for 108 kilograms versus 300 power for 2.5 kilograms so you know to be honest like the weight per power ratio seems way more efficient with the dragon engine than the raw engine but this thing just gives us so much more power it also takes up more space but you know what? let's just try it we're just gonna put a bunch of these on this thing and i mean like a bunch of these we're just gonna go ahead and go with this as our primary uh method here oh no this is a terrible idea this is an absolutely terrible idea. No one should ever try this at home, ever. All the advice is just no on this one. And you know, I'm even gonna, I'm just gonna fill in the whole middle of this. Oh no, this is terrible. Do not do this. All right, is this even attached? This stuff probably isn't even attached. We're gonna have to attach it. All right, so this doesn't make any sense. I don't even have any like stabilizers, but I just wanna see what happens. So we have like three seconds of incredible boost about to happen. And here goes nothing. Ah! Uh, that went pretty much exactly as I expected. All right, so now let's try it with, uh, some stabilizers? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just I'm just trying to add a whole bunch of thrust and not die. How are we supposed to I mean, how else are we supposed to get 1200 kilometers an hour? Be honest with me here. Be honest with me. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. And off we go. Oh, whoa. What is going on? What is going on? It bends. Oh. I might need to add some braces. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, I think we're gonna have to brace this thing. I didn't even take a look at the speed that time, but let's take, uh, let's take some of these. And we're just gonna attach them around the sides. I hope that this stabilizes it and prevents it from bending. I really don't know if that's how this is gonna work or not. I feel like this is still gonna bend. Alright, let's see if that prevents us from bending. And go! Hey! I think it worked! How fast are we going? 600. All right, well, this is not that great. Okay, so that's not working. I'm thinking, uh, hmm. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I got to go back to my original idea, but make it actually longer and thinner instead of the width that I gave to it. So let's try that. All right, here is the new vehicle. I don't know if this is going to work. I have no uh, pitch control, unlike the last one, but I'm hoping that with this amount of uh, cliff here, I don't really need it. All right, I'm just going to press space and see what happens. I don't even know if this is more or less thrusters than the last one. I'm just hoping it's a little bit more needle-like and aerodynamic. So we'll see how it goes in uh, three, two, one, blast off. Oh, that is, oh, that did not go well at all. Wait, is half of my stuff not even like attached? What happened here? What, a bunch of stuff fell. What, what, what? I'm missing a bunch of thrusters. All right, so I made a mistake, and, uh, yeah, that whole thing just, it didn't get saved. Not even in the history, so, uh, uh we're gonna try again. Whew, all right, this took a little bit of finagling to make sure everything was actually connected to the seat, but I've managed to make this thing, and the front of it, uh, I'm hoping is going to push all of the wind off to the side, and, uh, I just, I hope this works. I'm just gonna save it. I think everything is actually connected to the seat this time, unlike last time. Which, um, I had to do with, like, these little... Oh, well, let's wait for it to load in. There we go. These little, uh, beam... The, the little grid pieces here are what makes everything kind of stay connected. So I just kind of built that, copied and pasted it, and this is what we have left. Now let's go ahead and just let this thing, uh, go down to the ground here and see what happens. Okay, come on. 1,200 kilometers an hour. Let's get the sonic boom on the road here and go! 1100? We actually did it! 1200! 
Look at that. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I honestly... Whoa, what just happened? Did we do the thing again? Oh, we did the thing again. Look at that. Look, we, we literally go so fast that we leave the back of our vehicle behind and it has to catch up with us. Oh, I have to do that again. I actually have to see it happen because the, the, the reward kind of interrupted it. So let's do it again. Let's get to 1200. I think it actually shows the sonic boom cone. All right, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 1100, 1200. There it is. Yes. Oh, I need to get a screenshot of that for the thumbnail. But look at the end of our vehicle and snap. This is so weird. Oh, I am so happy that this actually worked. So I don't know how long this video is, but it's just over an hour now that uh, I've been recording. So it took me an hour to actually fine tune this stuff and get all this stuff built and working. But we did it. We reached the Sonic Boom. We did two challenges in this video. We did actually completed the Ring of Fire challenge and we did the Sonic Boom challenge. So let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. What kind of things do you want to see me build? Here is the Sonic Boom machine uh, that actually gets you to the Sonic Boom level. And that is actually a really cool feature of the game. So if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. If you don't want to miss the future episodes, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because then I'll let you know as soon as my video, as soon as my video is released rather. And uh, that way you don't miss a single minute. And we're going into the ocean here. Well, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.